Hey friends, it's Jackie and we are going to go through Instagram and I know this is something that everybody asks me about a lot and I'm actually, this is a, this is a video a long time in the coming so I do apologize for it taking so long and I thank you for your patience. I want you guys to know that when it comes to Instagram specifically, YouTube, any of the other social media platforms, I love sharing with all of you. And I wish that I could get to every single request that I get. Um, there's just not enough hours in the day. So, <laughs> But this is our most important topic, I think, right now. And I think that's because so many more people are starting to utilize Instagram and fall in love with it. And I personally have been, I've been head over heels in love with Instagram for quite some time. So this is kind of my favorite subject. I'm not going to lie. And I want to really dive in a little bit deeper because when we're talking about using social media for business, for marketing, for really promoting our business, we want to use it as strategically and as intentionally as we possibly can. Hopefully some of the things that we go over tonight may be new to you and I hope so because I want to be bringing you that new content. And I hope that this will also connect some dots because maybe you've seen things over time that you've been confused about or just weren't quite sure exactly how or why or what the reasoning was behind even some of the things that we do when it comes to Instagram. So without further ado, let's go ahead and open it up. You are looking at my phone and I'm going to go ahead and open up Instagram. There's my beautiful friend, Lisa. I love getting to see everybody's faces. And I, I have to say that one of the greatest things I do love about Instagram is the simple fact that it's just so visual and it can be such an inspiration when you're using it. So I really hope that you guys are using it in that way. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click over to my profile. Um, this is kind of what you would, I'm trying to think of like the best way to put this for people who are newer. So think of it like your Facebook page, right? Your profile page. This is your in a sense, profile page when it comes to Instagram. Okay, this is your landing page. So let's go ahead and break this down very quickly. Um, I think a lot of this is pretty self-explanatory, so I don't wanna get too deep here. You do see um, up there in the upper right-hand corner is that plus sign in the box. That, when we push that, is going to give us the option of what we would like to create. So that is your create button, that's your add button. However you wanna really look at it, that's your button, okay? <laughs> now, next to that, we've got the three menu lines, so that's normally a menu button, right? And in here, you will see these are the majority of the essentials when it comes to Instagram and what you're looking at. One of those things, it's the third thing down because it is so important, is insights. And that's really what we're going to focus, focus and concentrate on this evening. So let's go ahead and quickly get there. So you'll see it will show you your number of posts. Obviously, I like to post. Uh, it will also show your followers and it will also show how many people you are following currently. And then of course you have your profile picture. I recommend in this spot, just like I do for any other social media platform, if you guys have heard it from me before, you're going to hear it again, and that is to put your face in your profile. Even if it's with your fur baby, even if it's with your children, grandma, your husband, I, I really don't care. But people need to make a connection. And in this day and age, the best way that they're able to make a connection is by looking at you. And when we're on social media, let's be real. This is how we look at people, right? So we want this to be a picture that really represents you. And because we're talking about using it for business, let's talk about our brand as well, right? These are the things that we want people to recognize in us. So really keep that in mind. 
Um, next, of course, is your name. So there's mine, Jackie Duran. Um, and then I just put a short but sweet uh, little header paragraph about me. Um, if that's, I don't even know if that's technically a paragraph. Um, but you do get that spot for like a bio, right? So you can put whatever you'd like there. I just like to try and keep it on brand. So letting people know what, what to expect when they look at my profile. And then you do get one hyperlink in that bio and you'll see there mine's right underneath the click here for all the things so that actually goes directly to my amy shop and amy is an app so for those of you who are familiar with amy maybe you've seen this maybe you haven't but they've actually created like a link page so as you can see links feed collection so what I have done is I've now used Amy to replace the other app that I was using and that was Milkshake which I absolutely love and adore and I think it is perfectly great right now I'm really just trying to focus on Amy in regards to my business so that is why I am using this link but as you can see I've set it up with all of my links so they can connect with me to my VIP page my YouTube my Facebook, Scentsy Club, join, shop, all the great things, right? So please tell me that you are utilizing that link there. So maybe you haven't yet set anything like that up. You could always drive people directly to your Scentsy website. That's a really great one, right? Maybe you really want to work on your sponsoring and the opportunity of Scentsy. So maybe that link goes directly to your join page. Or of course you could use some of the other third-party apps right like we talked about I used milkshake for example there's Linktree. Um, there's a handful of apps out there that you could use but really you just want to use one that's going to be unique to you that you feel comfortable enough using and really that's going to give the people who come to your profile a place to really know more about you so underneath that, of course, now this is my viewpoint, right? If you go to mine, you're not going to see edit profile and promotions, insights saved or email, okay? Uh, <laughs> but underneath those, you will see the tan circles and those are my highlights. Now I will tell you, Instagram, just like Facebook, goes through phases and right now, um, I am unable to actually add to my highlights, which is is not really making me happy at the moment but as with instagram i mean everything comes around so i'm not too concerned with it i do have some great things saved in there and you do the same thing if you're on facebook you can add to highlights so that's really what you have right there now right underneath that and maybe you've never really used these buttons or clicked on these when you visited someone's profile but let's go ahead and take a look at it so um, it's already defaulted to that little grid right there under where it says Scentsy Life. And that grid is quite literally the grid of my Instagram, right? So when I talk about the grid, that's all the boxes you see here, right? That's what people see when they go to your profile. The next one to the right is the little box with the play button. That is going to bring up all of the reels that you've done. Hopefully you've at least done one. Oh my gosh, look at that thumbnail. I need to really try and make sure that my thumbnails look better. But playing around with reels is going to give you a lot of visibility. And um, it's one of the things that I'm really going to suggest that you really give it a shot. Give it a try. Now the next one next to reels is that TV with like a little squiggly in the middle. That takes us directly to IGTV. Instagram TV so this is where you can utilize Instagram to upload videos that are longer than one minute but shorter than 10 so I like to use these um, really when I'm just doing tips just having some fun really just things that I like to save here so as you can see there's some sensey tips in there there's some planner videos in there um, yeah, just some, some fun stuff. So, um, the next tab is that box with like the little person inside. That is the box that is there for photos that you are tagged in. So if somebody tags you 
in one of their posts, which I like to get my customers to tag me. So the this is really where you can sit back and see what pictures you're actually tagged in. So if you ever wondered what that was, that is it. All right, let's go back to the grid. Now, I told you we were going to talk about ways to build our Instagram, right? Or rather engagement. So let's go ahead and do that now. So I'm going to go ahead and this is, let's go back here. So that's the first picture that pops up. So this is a picture that I posted earlier today. Um, it is a picture of the Life's a Garden. I got in a six pack of apple parsley. I don't know if you can tell, but I really like that one. Now, what I see here on this photo are a few key things. First of all, I can see how many likes it got, right? Just by looking at it. So that tells me I've got 40 likes on this picture. Now, right underneath the picture, you see where it says view insights and promote. Now, just like Facebook on Instagram, you can promote a post. Basically, you are paying to have that pop up in people's feeds. So occasionally about once a month, whether it's on Facebook, whether it's on Instagram, I will promote a post. However, I really don't spend more than $10 on it. That's just my personal limit as to kind of how I limit my marketing, but it's just yet another way that I can get in front of some more people. But let's really dig in, right? Because if you watched my YouTube video that I posted earlier today, it was all about social media tips and really using social media with intention. And that's the big thing, right? Like I could sit here and I could post things all day long that I absolutely love to look at. But if nobody else is looking at them, if my customers aren't attracted to them, if it's not going to bring me sales or future team members or build my business in any way, then it's really just for fun. That, that means this is no longer working for my business. So I want to make sure this continues to work for my business. So I want to know what's performing, what pictures stand out to other people, what is getting the most likes? Where's the interaction coming from? And that, my friends, is how we get the algorithm. Oh, the dreaded algorithm. I know we talk about it a lot, but honestly, you guys, we really can use it for its powers of good. It does have powers of good. So let's go ahead and just click on View Insights. Now again, this is my, my view. So again, if you're visiting my website or my Instagram profile, you do not see this. You will only see this on your own. Okay. So post insights, this is what it pops up for us first. Messaging related insights such as shares and replies may be lower than expected due to new privacy rules in Europe. And you can learn more there. So again, now remember, I told you we were able to see the likes right off the bat, right? We saw that there were 40. This breaks everything down. So there are 40 likes. There are six comments zero send that's that little airplane there so that means maybe somebody saw it and was like "Ooh, i need to send this to my bff so nobody has sent this anywhere two people have saved it so that gives us a little bit of insight if i just push up there look at this i've got a lot more a lot more meat happening right okay so i'm going to break this down for you and we're going to look at some different examples all right so on just this post. These are the insights for this specific post. No other post, this one. So you can see I had six profile visits. So that means people were on this picture. When they got to this picture, they clicked on my name and it took them to my profile. We just went through my profile, right? So it took them there. That's awesome. This post reached 443 people. So that means 443 people, it showed up for them on their feed in Instagram. Okay. Now I've got interactions. So that's actions taken from this post. This really helps to break it down. So this tells you what are interactions. Again, this can kind of ebb and flow a little bit, but you'll see profile visits. So it's really breaking down how many people saw this picture and from this picture went to my profile page. That was six. Okay. Discovery. There's our 443. So that's accounts reached. 
And it does tell me a little bit of intriguing information, right? 4% weren't following the Jackie Duran. That's my tag, right? So 4% who saw this post are not already following me. Now, this does tell me follows. I did not have anyone newly follow me by seeing this picture. Again, I reached or people, 443 people saw this picture. My impressions were 469. So what that means, that breaks it down even further. So this goes from home, 444. Remember, 4% weren't following me and happened to see this. But the people who were following me, 444 of them saw this picture because they're following me. 17 people saw this because it came from a hashtag. Five people saw this from my profile and three were from others. So that's kind of just from other sources. So again, if this was giving me really high numbers, maybe I would decide to go ahead and promote this post. Be like, oh my gosh, look at the interaction I've gotten so far. This is a great post. I'm going to go ahead and promote it. I want it to push further, right? And then I could create a promotion just like we do on Facebook, on Pinterest, on all of the other websites, okay? So that's one example. Let me go ahead and go back and I want to show you an example from one that maybe was a little bit more popular. Let's take a look here. Um, here we go. All right. So let's take a look at this post, right? So this was, um, uh, well, five days ago. It tells me right there, five days ago. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that was my morning view. I was sitting at the island in the kitchen, just kind of working. And I thought it was a great uh a great reason just to take a picture and talk about my job, right? So let's go ahead and view these insights. Let's see what's happening here. So initially I see 83 people liked it. That's awesome. Zero comments, zero sends, two saves. That's nice, right? Not bad. Now I had 11 profile visits. Look at that reach. I've now doubled what that one was from this morning, right? So I've got 1,507 people saw this. 50, over 1,500 people saw this post. 12 actions were taken from this post. 11 clicked my profile. And look at that. One of those clicked my link. They clicked my link. That means it was working, right? It was working. Okay, so... Now let's get down to our discovery. So remember, 1,500, a little over 1,500 people saw this post. 60% weren't following me. So how in the world did they see me? All right, well, first of all, I didn't get any new follows for this post. Wah, wah. That's okay, though. Um, again, that reach, that's that 15 or 1,507. My impressions. So this is total 1,561 eyeballs were on this post. But look at that number underneath from hashtags. From hashtags. You guys, almost half of the people who saw this post didn't see it because they were following me already on Instagram. They saw it because of a hashtag that I put in my post. That tells me a lot, right? 620 people saw it from their homepage, right? So it just showed up in their feed. 75% from my profile, 14 from the other, right? So this would be probably a really good post to go ahead and promote, uh, but I'm not going to at this time because we're in the middle of this video. So let's go ahead and take a look. That was a lot from hashtags, right? That was almost 900 people were because of the hashtags that I used for this post. So that's where we can really dig deep, right? So let's go ahead and look at this post just a little bit deeper. All right, so you can see my caption. It's not, you know, a work of art by any means, right? It's just me talking. But I did use some hashtags. Now, of course, whenever I usually do anything that has to do with Sensi, it's usually hashtag Sensi Life. 
Um, hashtag Sensi. Look at that. Hashtag Mom Boss. I use that one a lot. Small business. Hashtag Star Director at Work. After that, I used some others. I used to work from home, mom life, like a boss, Ray Dunn, simply because I have my Ray Dunn coffee cup there in the picture, Apple Pencil, Apple iPad Air, my a iPad Air 4, that's obviously what it is, <laughs> uh, Good Notes is the app that I use on that, Life by Design, it's just a hashtag I like, and Digital Planner, because it's something that I am, right? I love digital planning. So, you see, these were great hashtags because they helped this post promote and really work well. I got a lot of people looking at that post. Let's go ahead and take a look at another one. Um, those are reels, so we can look at those. Actually, let's see. No, I can't do that from here. So let's go ahead. Let's look at this one. Um, I'm going to just click more just so we can see the hashtags and the caption. All right. So I can see right off the bat 112 people liked this photo. You can see my hashtags. Sensi snapshot, Sensi live samples, try something new, fragrance, happy mail, you know, all the things. Right. Again, I try and use hashtags that are um, that that really kind of make make a difference or are you know, incorporated somehow into the picture, um, somehow related, <laughs> however you want to really say that. So let's look at these insights. All right. So from right here, we can see again, 112 likes, five comments. I had five saves. That's good, right? That's good. Those saves are good. Now I had 106 promotion clicks. What does that mean? That means that I promoted this post. Yes, I did. So because of that, during that promotion timeline, look at that. I had 146 people visit my profile when I promoted this post. I had 17 people visit my website. 47% are from the promotion period. So during the time that I promoted this post, these are the stats. So discovery, almost 3,000 people reached, 69% weren't following me, 53% came from my promotion. So over half of the people that saw this post saw it because I promoted it. Look at those impressions. Again, over 3,500 impressions, right? 47% were from the promotion. I had nine people decide to follow me when they saw this, okay? I spent, you see there, I spent $12. $12. This even breaks it down further. And this will tell you how many women or men interacted with my post. There's their age range, right? It pulls from people's profiles. Here's the locations. This is interesting, at least to me. So do you see the top location was California, followed by Texas, Florida, North Carolina, and New York. Do you think I live in California? I live in Missouri right outside of Kansas City, Missouri. So the people who are seeing this aren't even from my state. Do you know how many how many times I have people telling me that they don't know how to work a business or they have trouble working a business because they have no one around them? You guys, social media doesn't work that way. <laughs> now, um, I can go even farther. I can promote this again. I can do more things with this because it did. It, it actually was used very well, right? It's a pleasing picture. Um, you know, I think it caught the eye simply because of the way of the picture, I guess, with just, these are just samples, by the way. Um, and so it just kind of was a pleasant picture, I think, just to look at. And maybe it piqued the interest of people when they saw it. So you can see the difference just by looking at my insights. Let's do one more, okay? Let's do one more. Let's do one more. I want to try and show something a little different. All right. So let's look at this one. So here is a picture. This was actually my Sensi Club order that I opened. So I can see right here, I've got 188 likes. So it tells me that three comments, zero sends, six saves. 
There's my profile visits. 31 people visited my profile when they saw this picture. That reach is almost 3,300. Actions taken from this post, so profile visits and then those website clicks. Now again, let's look down here at impressions, right? We had almost 3,500, 2,355 just came from hashtags. 71% of the people who saw this post were not following me. So what does that tell you? That tells you that, do you need to write an interesting caption? It doesn't have to be super interesting, right? But your hashtags can make or break an Instagram picture. Make or break it. Now, I don't want you guys to think that there's a lot of pressure that goes behind this. But again, if you're using it consistently, strategically, intentionally for your business, then you're going to want to use hashtags that are relevant, not only to the picture, but to you, your business, your brand. So you can see, I didn't even use very many. I used Scentsy Snapshot, Scentsy Club, Scentsy Always Get My Bar, yes, and Current Mood. Those were the hashtags I used. Now, here's the really neat thing about Instagram that maybe you didn't know. Now, you know that you can follow people on Instagram, right? I think we all have that. I want to go ahead and I want to follow a hashtag. Let's say I want to follow the hashtag. Actually, you know what? I'm going to follow the hashtag mom boss. Let's take a look at that one. All right. So we can see underneath that, that tells us how many people have used it. So 5.6 million posts have that in it. Now, here are all the posts that include hashtag mom boss currently. You can see there's a lot, right? There's a lot on here from all kinds of different things, probably all kinds of different businesses, companies, products, the whole nine yards. So if somebody is out there looking for or wants to be a mom boss and they start following this hashtag, and you start using it, you start to show up because if you decide up here at the top, it will give you that option to follow, then these are the types of posts that will start to pop into your home discovery page. This is what they call the discovery page, right? It's your home feed. So these are the things that start to show up. So let me see if I can show you real quick. Oops, let's go ahead. There's a sponsored ad. Um, there's, oh, actually, that's one of my team members. So, yay. All right. Um, <laughs> so here's obviously some of the people I follow. I want to see, there's a hashtag that I follow. So you see how this came up, hashtag digital planner. And you see how it has the little hashtag right next to the profile picture. That tells me right away by looking that that is in my feed because I followed the hashtag digital planner. That's why I'm seeing it. So if I like it, like I just did, right? So that person, when they decide to go back and look at their insights, they're going to be able to see that somebody who isn't following them, but followed through a hashtag, liked their picture. And maybe if I went to their profile and thought, oh my gosh, look at this. Wow. These are some really catchy things, right? And I could click follow. I could start following this person or this account and maybe start building a relationship, get inspiration, all kinds of things. Now they've only got 33 posts. So in this instance, I'm probably not going to follow because it's probably, um, kind of spammy to be completely honest, or they're just not really using it well, but, <laughs> The point being is you can follow hashtags, you can follow people, okay? So when you're following things and when you're posting things, it's really going to be beneficial if you start to use your analytics. If you start 
looking to see where are all these likes coming from. Look at this. These are, I mean, well, I mean, that's a cool pair of shoes, but look at that. There's only a couple hashtags right there. So you can see that when you're following people, when you're looking at posts, and maybe you just want to know what are the things that everybody's looking at right now. If you go to that magnifying glass, that takes you to the discovery page. Look at this, you guys. I could search a lot of different things. Maybe I want to search for Scentsy. I'm just going to put Scentsy in search I'm just gonna take the top um, let's do the top tags so let's see here hashtag sensi well, for one that fragrance or perfume is not sensi but see we can see look at this the other great inspiration from amazing sensi consultants oh that's my picture actually wow I came up in trending look at that <laughs> This is me right here. <laughs> so that came up because I follow the hashtag Sensi, or well, actually I think don't think I do, but um, I have the hashtag Sensi. So you can see again, you can use up to thirty different hashtags on Instagram. Thirty hashtags. Now I will tell you that the algorithm usually when you get close to using thirty, when you get close to that and you start using that consistently, it really does start to kind of kick you back out thinking that you are spam. So I probably wouldn't use that many as often. Okay, so maybe on a really good post or one that you really think is great, you really want to gain a lot of traction with it, go ahead and use it. But again, you see that I don't have a whole lot there. I only have a small handful. Let's look at those insights. So 167 likes, seven comments, six saves. Um, profile visits, look at that, from hashtags, 1470. So I can really see where my audience is coming from, right? So you can see when you are on your profile, what people are looking at, what is working for you, what is not working for you. So when you do have time, you can sit here and go through your posts and go, yep, that one, you know, like that Scentsy Club picture, that seemed to look really well. It seemed to do really well. It performed well. Yep, that was good, right? I either need to try and do more pictures of that, right? Of showing off, oh, where did it go? Showing off my Scentsy Club or just products. People love that. Same thing with my samples, right? People love that. Now, I also did a promotion on that. So here's my kitchen. Look, people, people like that one. But again, look at those from hashtags. More than half of the people who liked this post did it because of those hashtags. Not very many, just a handful, but they're good hashtags. They're popular hashtags, right? So you want to look for things like that. This is the way in order to really utilize your Instagram, utilize it like a boss and really dig into the insights to see what is working and what is not. So I really hope that this tutorial has helped you, has kind of shown you that there are ways that you can dig into the data and really know what you want to do better with your social media and maybe things that you need to pivot on. You need to change. You need to look at it from a different perspective or try it a different way because it's just not working.